Okay. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my live video. I'm going to be painting today um, here at Bell Rose Gardens. <laughs> now, I'm going to be painting over here today, um, Friday, here at 4. I'm going to be doing that every Friday at 4, painting the actual oil part. The underpainting was done on Tuesday, and you can go back and look at my videos and watch that, how that was done. This was done uh, on a white canvas. I did a quick sketch of this uh, particular piece right here. Um, let me go check my video feed and see if I'm getting anything over here. I should be getting something now. Yeah, I see something there. Okay, let me pull that up. Let me turn the volume off here. Come over here. Pull that up, and that way I can see what's going on. All right. Yeah, we're going to pretty much do this piece right here. I'm going to try to hold it up nice. And that's the that was uh, the photograph that I had taken. And this was the uh, sketch I did. And, of course, it's not identical. Not, not at all. But it's got enough of the feeling and the flavor to go ahead and work with. I'm trying to demonstrate kind of my process. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing, in a sense, because I have had no formal education. This is all done. Uh, over time, I've figured out ways I like to do it, and lately I've been experimenting with this way. I was painting them all black and then doing white, and uh, on top, that worked for a while. I like that. Um, I've done underpaintings in purple on white before, so I could see where I was going and stuff, and that kind of worked, but I was kind of more concentrating on the, the lighter value kind of uh, thing. Now I'm kind of going really with painting in the darks first with the underpainting going in and using that black strong black uh latex house paint is what it is and going in there and laying down a good strong value system let me make sure i got a decent squaring on this looks okay and trying to get that to happen so um so that when i go back in i can just do the the dark colors first and work my way forward that's just kind of how I work. I tend, tend to look for images that are like that, that have a lot of pop in the front and have some dimension, a couple of layers of dimension going back, even if it's close up. I can throw things out of focus that aren't necessarily as out of focus and stuff like that by just not defining the strokes as, as strongly and, and then feathering it in and blending it in to soften it down. But in this case, this is a fairly decent sketch. Now, as usual, I'm going to use some of this grapeseed oil here. Um, you can buy any kind of grapeseed oil. My well, I've got some here on sale over at uh, one of the, one of the, I think it was, uh, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of the place. Big, lot, big Lots, I believe. But um, anyway, so I oiled that up. I did a little bit of oiling uh, before. Now, I'm going to avoid some of these white areas where I have pencil work in here because I don't want that pencil to smear around in those white areas. Um, some artists, and, you know, myself included, tend to like to do, uh, you know, paintings and put the, the light, you know, like Bob Ross does them where he puts the, uh, you know, all the paint all the way across, you know, and then, uh, and then paints right back on top of it all wet on wet. Um, I like doing some of that, but when it comes to the bright, bright highlights, problem with um, white paint mixing it into light areas and stuff like that is it tends to deaden the color a little bit. And I'm finding more and more that doing it this way, where I've done a, an underpainting and I leave the white areas here. See, I don't want to do that too much. I just want to get a little touch of that in there. Um, but I can see that it's picking up that pencil. And I could have got probably gone in ahead of time with some water on that pencil there and kind of killed some of that. But it still tends to gray it up a little bit. And I don't want to kill that. I want to keep that light area. Because once again, unlike a lot of oil painters, I kind of approach it a little bit like a watercolorist where I want to leave the white areas white. Now, I don't worry about too much getting too tight in here with a lot of this oil right here uh, that, I'm, that I'm wiping the canvas down with because I don't mind it being hard and real strong right there, which doesn't require necessarily as much lubrication as some of these soft areas where I want to blend it in nice, especially in the background where you want to kind of blend in areas. And I want that to kind of be a little more, you know, where I can kind of sort of wash it out a little bit. But in here, I'm not going to be as worried. But there we go. I think that's pretty good. All right. 
So now I've done that, I'm gonna put my cap on my oil, I'm gonna put it out of the way. I come over here, I'm gonna take that rag, and I'm just gonna kind of rub it on my hands a little bit there. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go ahead and rub that all into my hands. It's grapeseed oil so far, I haven't had it hurt my skin at all. I don't know if you've got, uh, could have an allergy to grapeseed oil, maybe you wouldn't want to do this, but I don't apparently have one, at least as far as I know. It could be killing me, uh, you know, but no, uh, I, th <laughs> I think I'm fine. So, but that, what that does is it kind of lubes up my hands a little bit too. When I'm going to get paint on my hands, no doubt about it, and this kind of keeps it from getting all hard to clean and getting all up, up under my fingernails and the corner of my fingernails and stuff where it looks nasty. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to start, once again, here's the, here's the, uh, the piece, and I'm going to start in this area all back in here, all up underneath, all this kind of all through here and all up in there and all that background. It's kind of, and it kind of gets killed over here. There's not much background. This is kind of all stuff in the foreground. But this background is going to kind of seep back into here. And that's going to be softer and looser. I'm going to use uh, probably just a big, beat up, flat. It's fine. I'm going to loosen it up with a little bit of thinner. And it's already got some dark color on it. But I'm going to come in with some, basically almost a pure black, really, at first. I'm just going to start with a pure black. This happens to be lamp. Lamp black, which isn't as quite as dark as this black here is, is here, but I'm just going to kind of mix it in and just make sure I've got oil over everything. I'm not going to make it super, super detailed or anything like that. All I'm trying to do is come in here and cut in some color. Now, one of the things I wanted to do that I didn't do right in the sketch necessarily according to the way the, uh, the uh, photograph is, is to get a shape of a leaf that was cutting through over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what exists right there and I'm going to make that into the leaf shape over here. Let me kind of cut it up a little bit there. And then I can bring it kind of around there. And it's, there's going to be a tip here that I kind of cut in right there. I can kind of see, you might not be able to see it, but I'll try to remember that when I get over there. Now I can have an epic fail and forget and all that stuff. But anyway, I'm going to keep coming in here. And I'm not going to do the black everywhere. I'm going to come into some areas and do it, soften it around the edges. Think, think leaf shapes and stuff, both negatively and positively. I can cut one in negatively and still cut one in positive. So there's one that's cut in in this part and one cut, cut in that way a little bit and one going the other way this way. Then I can make that more to a leaf shape. I'm just kind of giving the essence of that. I'm not going to worry about too much detail. Now, once again, I do like that area right in there. So I'm going to come right in here and I really, really want to hit that good right there. Right there and get that a nice good dark black right there and then from the tip coming down I don't want all to be like that but just enough see that almost indicates almost like another leaf blade there that I left behind this darkness I want to continue but also don't want to kill everything so let me just come over here and just kind of do that and then we'll pull up another leaf blade shape underneath like that and pull around like that and then maybe here I can pull up another leaf blade coming a different direction kind of like that so there's kind of some negatives and positives there. Up at the top here, once again, I want to kind of define a little bit of a dark. I can kind of see a shape of a leaf up back there already, so I can kind of go with that and bring that into this area right here. And there we go. And, you know, it's important to have some... I don't, I'm not doing detail in the background. This is indicating the detail in the foreground where this is cutting. So, But back here, once I've cut those areas, I'm happy to go ahead and just... Uh, Basically, come in there and, you know, just do whatever. Fudge around. doesn't really matter. Once that's cut in, like this area here, this is not going to be, I want that in back of this leaf. So I'm just going to come and come in here, and I'm, not, I'm just going to be random about it. And I'll pull it out and just get a value. And then I'll just leave it like that. I don't have to go any further than that. It's not important. It's just a matter of the feel, the shape, you know, you want, and the focus, I guess. You don't want it to be too, too sharp back there. Now I'm going to go back and we'll blend in other colors as we go along. But meanwhile, we're just working in the darks. Now there was darks all in here. Once again, I'm going to want a nice, real, real nice, strong black. Notice where I'm putting the blacks. I'm putting the blacks in right pretty near what? The whites. Why? Because I want that high contrast. I want that pop from that, from those. I want that pop to come around. I want there to be a really nice pop right there. Now see, I kind of killed a little bit of that right there. But let's see if I can kind of 
creep that blade. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And then pull that back a little bit again. And we'll pull that back there. Now let me kind of just fudge that in a little bit. There's a big leaf blade coming through. Now there's a stem going to be coming off it. So let me kind of shoot him right through here. He's going to be a little high and then we'll curve him in. All right. And then I can kind of indicate maybe that there's some of it that might right left right here by, by blackening in this area right here that's going to indicate the back of that leaf right there once again kind of a good hard edge right here along some of these blades and stuff like that I want it to be nice and sharp right in there now that blades back a little bit so I'm not gonna worry about it being uber duper sharp but I do want it to be somewhat sharp and this blades gonna come up back over the top of this one like that so now I'm gonna take where that came back rather than pulling that line forward I'm pulling it back this way to basically get this in front and I just smooth that off that way you've got to got a hard edge on this end but not on the back end where we still want it to be soft and then once again I'm gonna there's some some indication of a little bit of color right in here I gotta watch some of that a little darker maybe right there and kind of comes some cut some of that a little bit darker and there we go I'm gonna have another stem coming through here I gotta watch that I don't want it to come right to that point that uh, of tangents that we don't want to have incur just randomly. And so we've got those darks and we're working it across. There's still some black background here. Now I wanted to kind of stick with the this once again it's not in the photograph, but I want to uh, give some more indication of those square blades like this. I want one back there a little bit. So I'm gonna cut it all the way down, back down here. This could be a square one from the edge, you know, from a different edge right there. And so have some of that square shape back in there just to counter against this round. It kind of looks more interesting. Once again, kind of little square shapes back in there. And then I'm going to kind of let some of that go. So we've kind of swept across some of the top here. I'm going to come back, hit a little bit of black paint again, and we're going to come back down in here. And there's some good key areas down in here. This is kind of all random. So I'm going to kind of pull that edge, but I'm also going to be careful about how and where I'm putting this black. So I want to be in kind of a little bit more, I don't know, kind of roundish shapes-ish to indicate little bushes and things going, little things coming through, just to where it's not all just uniformly black. Now down here, same thing. And I, you know, it's always nice to cut something dark in the corner or whatever, but you might want to cut something light in that corner. And then I'm going to leave some of this shape here, maybe this coming across. So it looks like a stem and a leaf coming up there. i just kind of do that a little bit. Once again, let's break up some of the shape here. So I'm going to come in here and get some kind of just random rounded shapes, maybe indicate another leaf shape over here like a blade and kind of work with what's already there. I can see almost like you see clouds, something in the clouds. You can kind of do that thing over here. Now I want to have a indication here some dark stems coming through here so I'm gonna have one right there coming through and let's make sure I leave that area pretty pretty right and that one's pretty straight I curved it at the end let's have a little pal of his that does curve more and there we go and so we got a couple little things because I want to put some interest down here this is all gonna be about stems down here I'm putting these couple of darks and then there's gonna be some light stems in there so now let's see, some of this area in here, it's gonna, I want that dark, those stems to really stand out. Now there's one stem that comes from back here, and I mean, it comes, there's two of them actually. There's one's gonna come all the way like down here, and I just gotta kinda indicate it. I, I don't really wanna put all that black there necessarily, but so I'm gonna come back in here, and I'm gonna feel out some of this over here, and pull some of these colors over here, and I'm just gonna kinda feather some of this out to make it look a little bit more, you know, like the stem coming down, like a big stem coming down this way. And I'll remember to put that in there. Then there's another stem that's kind of coming right here. So I'm going to kind of indicate that I should dash my line a little bit more like that. There we go. And that way we got an indication of where I'm going to put these bright stems. There's going to be a bright stem here. There's going to be a bright stem there, 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 coming around curled and all that. So that looks pretty cool. Now let's come up and back of some of that. And once again, dance around with some tone, with some darker tones and stuff and kind of work in. And this is all just black. I'm doing black oil paint on top of the black uh, underpainting that we did because I can't, I don't want to just leave acrylic there. 
because I'm going to be blending in color into these blacks. It's not going to be all pure black. So once again, going, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to look and tap, really try to get an evaluation of where we're at as far as those dark tones and stuff. Now, I've got colors mixed for some of the dark, dark purples and stuff like that in here. So what I'm trying to look for is the background itself. Now, there's a big blade that's coming off right here that I kind of killed a little bit. So I'm just going to come right there and make sure I know that that blade's right there. And now I'm going to come in and do some of this. And get. Remember I said I didn't mind that I would be a little uh, not too soupy right there. I didn't oil that up. That way I get a little bit more of a harder edge stroke there. Now this guy's kind of coming down like that with a shape. It's kind of coming this way towards that stem. And then... Some of that's maybe a little darker right in here. Coming down towards that stem a little bit. Some of that. I'm just going to kind of just feather that in. Remember, a lot of the stuff's getting blended back in. This is oil, so we're going to blend a lot of this stuff back in. This is also background, so I'm going to kind of come in here and do some of that. Just whatever, indicate some darks. There's a little bit of background showing way back in here. And I'm going to cut in just a little area, maybe like right here at the tip. Right under there, and I'm once again I'm going to think leaf shape, so I'm going to kind of give an edge of a leaf kind of curling up at the edge there, and there you go. There's one there, and we can almost imitate that same shape right there, again. And then here we've got to watch what we're doing here, so let's just kind of fudge that around and not get get too detailed with all that right there. Uh, we're almost down to the bottom here with the blacks. We're going to come over here, and there's going to be a black that's going to come over here. It's going to be a stem that's coming up. I'm just going to, we can maybe give it a little curl at the end. Things tend to curl a little bit. Don't tend to be perfectly straight. And then just, I can give it another little shot right there of another black one right there. Maybe just the very tip of that one. And these are things that I'm just throwing in just because I like the weight or the feel of them. So now we're starting to see more and more of this thing shape up. And here we've got a stem coming down. And that's pretty important where this stem is. So I want that stem to be right there. And to pull up, and then once again, I can come over here and kind of indicate that there's something right here, right over here, kind of like that, like that. And there we go. And that's another one of these square, big square ones. And then over here, we can have another maybe big stem. This, this stem coming down here, we can go ahead and indicate that again. And in this case, we'll leave some of it dark here at the top and pull that down. And then have a stem that kind of, you know, and then it'll come back into hard play right there. And there we go. And so now that stem has managed to come all the way back. And there, I can also make another stem right here that's kind of shooting up, giving a little edge right there, a little leaf kind of shooting up. And once again, I'm not going to go all the way with some of those. Um, once again, this bottom can be all about stems and things like that, so that's fine. That's beautiful. I don't have a problem with any of that. And this guy's going to kind of come, cut down like that, really. And then there's going to be some random stuff right here. Let me get maybe another stem indicated right in here. And then we'll kind of pull it this way a little bit. That leads off to the side a little bit. There we are. There we go. So now we've kind of got all the blacks that I want to have. So I'm just going to take a quick breather, uh, come over and see if anybody's watching real quick, and then see what's going on. All right. Well, we've got a fair amount of people joined in. Well, golly. Well, thanks for joining in, folks. Um, I'm going to be hitting the pet canvas here again in a moment. Let's see who we got. We got we got Vicky a couple times. Hey, Vicky. Grant, Mark, Ted, Adam, Adam Lucas. Boy, I haven't seen him in an age. Uh, Liz. All right, Liz. Hey, sorry we're not out the strolls together. Maybe again sometime. Linda, Phil, my friend Roos. Yes, I will rock on, brother. Steve, Dan, right on, Elaine, all right, excellent, well now I'm going to get back to this, and we're going to go back to the background again, and we're going to put in some cooler uh, warms and stuff like that, we're going to put in some browns and some soft greens. <laughs> ah, I know I'm crude, my wife tells me all the time. All right, so there's some soft greens and stuff up here. And some kind of a more of an avocado-ish greens and stuff like that. What I've got is I've got a mixture of a couple nice 
Nice cooler greens. Let's see what the color, the call the color of this green. This particular green I poured out is from Gamblin and it's called Cobalt Green. It's kind of cool color, kind of a cooler green. And I like the color because just about the, the color of the leaves that are in the photo, so I didn't have to do too much mixing. I've kept that same dark paint, the one that I've used. Uh oh, there's somebody calling me. Guaranteed they're trying to buy my house. Uh, I don't know how to get that to stop. Let's see, what can I do? Let's see. Well, that's just going to have to keep ringing, I guess, until it stops. Because um, I have a little holder on my phone, and it's in the way of canceling that. So, sorry about that. Meanwhile, I'll try to talk over the ringing. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put that cool color right here. And uh, collectively, let's curse whoever's uh, calling me at this moment. There you go. The curse worked. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Nah. They just keep wanting to buy my house, you know. And I'm sorry. I... Just paid the thing off about a year and a half ago or so. I don't want to sell it. I want to stay here. I don't want to start giving my money to the bank again. What the heck's that about? Anyway, on to the painting. Well, um, like I said, I'm going to work in some of these cooler colors because I'm going to work some warms in too and so also probably work in a little bit of a lighter tone on this. But right here, I'm just going to try to get some of that cool color there. There was also, this I made into a red leaf over here, but I'd like something to pop out off of it, so I'm going to put some of those cool colors. I just randomly kind of put them in the back there. There's some darker tones in there already, but that way I can come in and I can just kind of keep with that cooler tone kind of in the back there. Now, there's some leaves and stuff popping down over here. Let's see, the top of this leaf here, also going to be cooler, and then it's going to kind of whiten up right there, so I don't mind having that edge in there cool, but meanwhile, I'm going to when I come back in, I'm really going to hit that in and blend it in so some of that cool is going to get uh, mixed in with some warm. And then once again, I'm kind of soft, softly push, pushing this out. And remember, I'm going with the flow of the stroke of the, of the uh, actual leaf. But I'm also taking mine because I am cutting it in like a watercolor rather than going like Bob Ross and sweeping all the way across it. I'm kind of cheating that a little bit. So what I'm doing is kind of just uh, very carefully working around these light areas so I don't kill them that way when I come in with some color on there it's gonna really pop right off real nice now let's see that cool when it gets down in here it gets even cooler so I've got even a darker a darker kind of green here this one's called Corbett green I believe and it's a little bit darker it's not quite black but it's a very dark green and once again that's gonna help that that leaf just pop off of there now the ideal thing to, for me to do would be to let all this oil dry and then go pop those leaves in with a glaze, very transparent, that would really look pretty. In this case, I'm just going to use a very wet uh, paint and hope for the hope for the best. I'm going to swing for the fences there and, and hope all that works for me. Uh, we'll find out. You'll be witness uh, if you're still here, that is. Now back in here, once again, this is kind of a dead area and there's kind of a nice... Uh, red coming off here so I'm gonna take some of this and this is a brighter green here so I'm gonna take some of this dark green I know you can't really even see it maybe I'll just tap into that other one a little bit and just give a little bit of indication of color just that something's happening back there same thing here a little something happening doesn't have to be much uh, back in here once again kind of hit a little bit of something there up underneath there's a leaf coming down here but right up underneath in here I can probably throw some some cooler green right in there do just a couple of bits and then it's kind of a couple of little bits and then it's kind of pull it around and just let that little piece be there but that pushes that back a little further and then back over in this dark area again where there's some highlights I see a little bit here I'm gonna kind of go with those this leaf that I talked about before let me grab that and let me come over here and very lightly that way that dark color doesn't kill it and then when I drag that over and see how when I'm going over a lighter color underneath that it kind of pulls it away, it kind of keeps it lighter, and then where it turns to black, I can't, get to keep the shape basically a little bit. See, it didn't quite kill it. I didn't have to paint all that in. I already did it on the underpainting. And because I knew ahead of time that I was going to go dark there, that I was okay with just leaving it the way it was and just dragging it over. Now, same thing down in here. There's going to be some areas down in here, like right in here, that I can just kind of drag this brush over and just lightly feather it in because I want that to be soft anyway. And it just gives an indication, some color and some shape there. Once again, blurry, but that's fine. Now right in here, this edge right here, I want some of that to be real strong. 
So I'll cut in with this color right here. And you won't even notice it that much, but there it is. And I'll pull some of it this way and that way. And right at the end, and just complete that out. And that way I've got plenty of cool color right in back of this leaf. And maybe a little bit back of this leaf, which are which are warmer colors. This is mostly purple. This is kind of more of a of a beetle. It's got a little bit more of a sienna mixed in, kind of a kind of a deep brick color, kind of really nice. Um, now let's work our way across. There's stuff happening in the back here once again that's dark. I'm gonna use that same cool green, but I don't want to beat that color to death. So I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna mix in just a little bit of it, right in on across here. Grab some of it. This is going to blend right into the black that I painted right there. And I don't mind that that got a little cooler right there. I got to watch some of that. There's actually a, that's kind of a mistake because there's a, a leaf coming through right here. But that's okay. It would pick up some of that cool color anyway. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. You just move on. You can't be, you can't just dwell on your mistakes when you're painting in this fashion. You have to just kind of move on and do what you're doing. Now, I might throw, let's see, in the back I saw, I saw, there's some nice, I'm going to now take this paint, because I can do it a little bit, and I'm going to loosen it up pretty good with some thinner to where I've got that same color, that green, but now it's kind of loose and uh, wa more watery. It's much thinner. i got a lot of juice on the brush there. Because so I'm going to come over here, and I'm just going to kind of tap it in, and I don't want it to be too strong in any one area, but uh, eventually when I get to these, some of these light areas, I want it so I can indicate leaf shapes and stuff like that. And when I get into some of these lighter areas, It'll, it'll kind of uh, it'll kind of show a little bit more, see what I'm saying? A little bit more when I'm up in these lighter areas. And I don't mind that. I'll do a little bit of that. And I'm not even going to fill in the whole thing, so I'm not really that, once again, worried about all that. That's not a thing that I'm worried about. Now, there's uh, some leaf shapes. This is a little, little raggedy right here. And there's a leaf kind of coming through back here. So I'm just going to kind of bring it through, and I can kind of see a shape there. That's a little dark. Let me grab a little bit more of this color. It's a little lighter. I'll hit it right here. There we go. And then that shape is going to come right through here. And I'm going to bring it down over here. And there we go. And there's a petal there. And so that's going to finish off the edge of that petal there. I may throw another petal in behind there. And then let's see. I can put a nice dark stem maybe. And it gets cut a couple spots there. And just a couple little indicators of things like that. Um, let me grab... Just a little tick, just a little tick of a lighter color. I'm using kind of a lightish greenish color. It's kind of a very light off, off green kind of color. And I want to kind of just get a couple of little lighter ones here. And maybe throw one in here, here and there, and just kind of indicate almost like a almost like a little kind of almost like a little bird shape, like a, a little bit, and then come in some of these lighter areas in here and do that as well. There we go. And that looks pretty good. Now I want to take that brush and clean it off. Well, yeah, let's see. Let me give it a couple, just a couple shots since I like that lighter bit. And let's just take a little shot down here, here and there, just to kind of, you know, take what you've got and, and work with you know, within within what you've got, basically. Try to try to say, hey, I see shapes and stuff here, and I think I can make them pop out a little bit more by ending indicating some some light in back of them. And so I'm doing a little bit of that. And there we go. Now I'm going to try, try to take like more of a, uh, this is more of a pale greenish um, color initially. And then I'm actually going to, it's kind of a little bit more of a light avocado shape. And I'm going to mix it in a little bit on one edge. I'm going to have one edge a little bit with the avocado and one edge, but a little bit more of that green, a little bit. It's kind of a little mix of colors. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to kind of dab around in here just to kind of integrate indicate that some of this stuff's a little closer there here and there there you go just to give it a little bit of something just to give it a little bit of shapes in here and there I don't have to I don't want to do too much in here but I do want to get some there we go now I want to take that same color one more time and I want to get a pretty decent stem back here and I want it to be brighter in the middle and then fade off to these dark colors actually maybe right in here would be good because there's a lot of color to pick up behind it so I'm going to start from the middle, I'm going to pull it that way, I'm going to pull it that way. And you see how it kind of disappears like that? Let me kind of pull it all the way through, there we go. And that's fine. And that way it looks like it's kind of disappearing down in there. I can do the same thing and pull another one out 
and have it disappear under something and have it kind of pull out. There we go. And now they're kind of lit and they're just kind of popping back there a little bit. So I've got something happening back there. There was a couple of bright leaves, so I'm just going to indicate some edges of some round things. Just kind of turn in my brush a little bit. Don't want to do them all the same. Maybe have one kind of come in a little di different direction. And there you've popped in some few little leaves here. I can take some of the tops of that. And some of this area in here now, what I'm going to do is rather than uh, putting more paint or anything, I'm just going to grab a brush. This is kind of beat up and, and whatnot. It's probably time to clean my hands off a little bit. I have the luxury of a paper towel roll. I'm still being very good about it, though. Now I'm going to come back in. I'm not going to kill this one so much. But I'm just going to come in here, and I'm going to find the dead areas that don't have any color. And I'm just going to kind of come fill them in. I'm just going to kind of fill everything in here. And that's going to soften everything back and push everything back a little further to where it's not, you know, right up in the foreground. I'll even take that and brush over that real light. Notice how I just did that in a couple strokes. You don't want to beat it up. And I'm kind of cleaning my brush in between. But I'm going to these areas that where there's some grays and whatnot like that. And kind of just, I don't want to necessarily put more color there. I don't want to put too much color back there. I'm trying to, to get uh, uh, that in the background and have some indication of things going on. And then slowly we're working our way forward into something a little bit more focused and a little bit brighter. And so as I come in here now, I'm gonna kinda of just very lightly, I mean, I'm just lightly dragging that so lightly, I barely am touching the canvas. And just coming in there and just kinda of doing that. And now I've kinda, of, we've worked in a pretty good background there. I think it looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna come in with that, some of those same colors and the same brush. I'm just gonna to toss a little bit of that color in the brush and just kinda of soften in a shape here and there. Just soften in some of these colors. Just like that. This guy's back there and I'll get him. But I'm, that's in front of these other ones. So now back here, this got these guys here. Now I'm going to kind of work on that. Now what I want to do here is I want to take some white. Let me get a little white on that area because I want to steal it from somewhere else. So I'm just going to get some uh, some white. In this case, I'm using radiant white from Gamblin, and I'm going to kind of just get me a little little bit of white mixed in on the brush. I've already got some color mixed in on that brush. A bunch of color. Kind of from I just picked in a picked up a little bit more. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into that white a little bit and I'm just gonna kinda just get a dull color and I'm gonna kinda wipe it off so there's not too much paint on there. And then I'm gonna come in here where the sheen is on this, and I'm just gonna kinda work that in and back of there. And don't I'm not gonna go into any other color. I'm gonna stay in that lighter area for right now. Let's try to find all the light areas. I'm going to go right there, right here. That all looks just about right to me. Now, I'm just going to take my brush, going to clean it off real good again, and that's just enough. I don't have to do any more. Now, I'm just going to go with that stroke, and I'm just going to kind of blend that in. Now, I'm going to kind of cross stroke it so it's not all exactly going like that. But there you go, because there's some things in back. You know? There we go, and just try to light that up a little bit. I'm over here to try to clean up that little edge right there without killing what's above it. I mean, I don't want to kill this area too much. There we go. There we go. Now that pushed that further back. These, I'm going to wait for that to dry a little bit, and then I'll go in there and I'll hit that. I'll hit that and soften those up because I want to push them a little, little further back too. All right, so let me go over here, soften that up. And we're going to go into the areas where we've got some background. And I'm going to go with that little little bit of whiter, greener, lighter, greener kind of thing mix there. And I can pop in, you know, just an indication of something. It doesn't have to be anything. Just a little blob of something is fine. Um, down here, uh, I may want to stick a couple of blades right there. So I'm just kind of kind of just throw something in there that looks like, like, like leaves coming up. I'm not going to go too much out of my way to, I'm just going to kind of press it down and Pull it out and make some leaf shapes in there that are a little bit brighter down in there. Some of that will get killed later on with some things. And then down in here I might have some things. All right. All right. So I'm not doing too much more there. Maybe a little bit of something. Just because it's a little dead in here. Let me just throw a little something. something. That's a little too, too much color. But that's all right. Throw it like that. And maybe a little right here. A little something 
one off the bottom there. Just a little something, just to indicate some background. Now, as promised, I'm going to put some some little browns and whatnot kind of down in this area in the background, right through here. I might pick one up here and there, but mostly down through here, we're going to do light browns or kind of a grayish brown. I've got some brown already picked out, um, and I'm going to put the dark browns. Once again, we're going to go with a dark brown. This is a... Uh, a raw umber mixed with a Naples yellow and a little bit of the white and black that's left on the paintbrush. There's barely any of it, but I don't mind that because I want it to be a little gray. So now I'm going to go into almost all this area that I know is not is not uh, um, red or green or whatever. It's all background. And I come in here and I'm going to hit most of it, really, a lot of it with this brown color. And so I mean, I'm just not going to be real specific like once again I'm going to blend it in at the end. Now, I don't mind if occasionally I kind of pick a little bit more yellow up on a corner or something to where you know it'll it'll kind of vary it a little bit give me a little little variance to the way that lays in there and uh, once again trying to just go into these areas and just roughly I know that there's going to be some blades and stuff back here I don't want to beat it up too hard and that's turning a little light let me get some darker brown Mix it in. Let's try that again. I'm going to come back down. I'm going to maybe hit some right there. And then down in here, I'm going to watch what I'm doing because I've got some nice stems and nice things happening down here. I don't want to beat things up too bad. I don't know who keeps calling me. Let's see who it is this time. I know it's not my wife. She's here. Uh, it is Chris Roos. Roos, I cannot answer you right now. I'm doing a show. <laughs> I love you, Chris, but I can't answer right now. I'm sorry. I'm right in the middle of a show. Um, please put a comment to Chris and say, hey, don't call during the show. So I don't know what's going on there, but in any case, I love you, Chris, and I will call you after I'm done. Uh, hopefully it's not anything too important. I'm guessing probably not, but you never know. Hopefully not. All right, now I'm just kind of going through and hitting some things right there and there. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And trying to throw in some color. Some... Now let me grab a little bit more of this Naples yellow. And I would grab a fair amount of that Naples yellow and kind of hit some little brighter spots. I'm going to hit one back here. Whoop, whoop. A couple of whoop. You know, indications of maybe something happening back there. Boop, boop. There you go. Doesn't matter. Something back there. And then hit some more of these. I don't mind crossing the stems here once in a while. And now, let's go here again. Right in there. And for the most part now, I'm looking at a lot of this and saying, all right, that's pretty good. Let's get some more dark brown. This time I'm going almost pure dark brown. I'm mixing in another brown. This one is actually uh, burnt umber rather than raw umber. It's a little bit different color. And I'm going to come around. And I'm just going to kind of hit some of this stuff all in here. And just try to give it a little very, very whatnots in here. There we go. Now, once again, I'm going to clean my brush off. I'm going to clean them up pretty good. I'm not going to be like Bob Ross though, and beat the hell out of it up against something like that with spray shooting everywhere and whatnot. I don't think that's necessarily good for my health. Uh, I'm sure he's a one, you know, he was a wonderful guy and knew what he was doing, but that particular end of things I don't tend to agree with. I think I try to keep it, I've got good ventilation in here and I try to keep it as much as uh, as tame as I can in here. Okay, now I know I went back in with some paint again just to kind of fill in an area, but anyway. So, now I'm taking that brush and I'm coming over here and once again, so lightly, I'm holding this thing, I'm holding it like a needle. I'm holding it like you hold a, something very, very softly. You don't want to beat it up and that, that way when I come in here and I dab around, I should get a fresh one and come in here and clean up in between do a number of strokes, feather it in, do that in, clean it up. And just kind of go like that. Do a number of strokes, work your way, feather it in, clean it up. And just keep doing that all the way. It doesn't take forever. It seems a little tedious, but in the end, the result is beautiful. And you just kind of go in and just do that. You know? And once again, this is where the underpainting pays off. Now, some of this over here is not underpainted, but it doesn't matter. In the end, I have, that's a, some strong color in here, so I'm going to kind of tap that rather than and beat it up too much. And then I'm going to come down to another color, and I'm just going to kind of leave it alone. I'll come to the edge of it, and then we'll drag it that way a little bit. There we are. Same with that edge. Just soften the edges a little bit. There we go. 
maybe come right over the top of that leaf. We can even come through on some of this darker area. We can come through to give it more continuity on some of these leaves coming up across, you know, so like this right here, I can come right over the top of some of this leaf area here and that'll be all right because those are fairly dark colors in here. Um, that's going to be a bright color, so I don't mind doing that too much. And then I can kind of sweep across and then once again, in these areas, I'm going to need to kind of just fill in the color. Um, remember that those stems are there, so I haven't killed them yet. I hope I won't. And I'm trying not to. All right, now, there we go. Kind of sweeping it, sweeping it. All right, I'm gonna clean that brush again every once in a while, especially here where you got a little bit more paint. I'm gonna dab it around. And once again, we're kind of sweeping all that color and without killing anything here, I'm trying to come in here and sweep all that around. So you can kind of see you know, things kind of starting to form. And now I'm going to kind of sweep across some of that with a brush all the way across just to feather that in a little bit better right in here. Let's see, let's get some of that in there. Just feather this area in. And a, a spontaneous stem appeared there. I don't mind. Leave it. Leave it. You can always go paint back in over stuff that you don't agree with when you're at the end of this process. But for the most part, I try to let, let it be when it comes to a lot of this stuff. Now this is not back, oh, there's a little bit of background down here and whatnot. So once again, I'm feathering it in. Now I think I can probably get away with dabbing in over here. They've probably dried enough to where I can kind of just barely come in. And maybe go like that and dab it in a little bit. And there we go, that maybe I pushed it back a little bit. I'll wait for it to dry a little bit more. It's a little early, a little early, but I get a, you know, maybe towards the end of the, the session here, I should be able to get that. Now, I think I've got most of the background elements in here pretty good. I think most of them, I've got this one leaf back here. Let's go ahead and get, get a hold of that guy. Um, I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to work a couple colors in. He's pretty light right in here, so I'm going to keep that light area right there and right there. And I'm just going to let those dark areas underneath do what they do. I'm just going to kind of let it be what it is like that. Now, I'm going to work in some... Start with a more of an avocado-ish green right here to just to indicate he's a little a little brighter sunshine maybe on him. Right there. Like that a little bit. And then there. And I can even pull some of that color, same colors to make it more harmonious right there. And I'm gonna go back to that other color a little bit here again. More dark and it's got a little bit more blue and stuff in it. And I'm gonna work that leaf right like that. And there could be another something hanging out down there. Who knows? And let's see, let's get a dark, like a dark color here. Dark green, dark, dark, that cool dark green. And I'm gonna come in right here. And that's gonna come right in there just a little bit. And right in here. That's okay. Like that, like that. There we are. That's it. All right, now let's see, there's that. Hold that that way a little bit. Try to clean up some of that and then back in here i'm looking back there's another part right here and that's where that leaf this leaf here is ending so i'll pull that down a little bit right there i'll pull a little piece right in there just to indicate some darkness and then this also is part of a blade and actually that's part of a blade so i kind of missed part of the blade here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull it in right here and i'm going to make the blade right there the bottom half of it happen and that's it. It does not need to be detailed, so I'm fine with that. And then I can kind of pull it in here and make it work. Pull a little bit more of that color. Pull an edge right there. And then the stem of this can be, you know, somewhere right here. Just fine with me. So I'm going to stem that out like that. And because it's so far in the background there, I don't mind any of that. There we go. Now let's get some of this cooler color again. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of white, a little cool. And I'm mixing this all in the same brush. I don't mind. I do not mind at all. So in back of here, we've got a little bit of it happening. It's going to go with a darker color in there eventually. But um, I'm going to go ahead and hit that a little bit. There we go. There we are. Get to that edge. Now I'm going to come over here and get some good, strong darks right in here. I've actually got a turquoise that's in here this time. It's right in here that's kind of mixed with the black, and it's a pretty, pretty strong color. A little too much. 
little too much, but that's okay. I'm just gonna pull the paint off and I'm gonna leave that paint there and I'm just gonna blend it on in. And I'm gonna roll with it right here. I'm gonna roll with it right there. I'm just gonna let it go. Let it do its thing, that's fine. I'm just gonna blend it in and let the light, let it do its own thing with the light. I'm gonna pull that shape out to light. I'll come up over this a little bit. I know where that end's gonna be. I'm gonna come over here and clean that off a little bit more. Now what I do is it kind of through darkness and here tuck that back a little behind all this, which is exactly what I want anyway. So they come in there and they kind of clean up that area right there. Maybe right in here. And now we still got some good strong light areas so I can hit those stems really nicely. And so that kind of worked. It wasn't as pretty as a, as a picture or anything, but uh, but uh, it worked. And same thing, I'm gonna pull some of that cooler and lighter color that I've got left. And I guess, like I said, I don't mind if it grays up a little bit because that's all right. Um, I don't want it to be as prominent as all that. I'm worried more about the value of it than necessarily the color. Obviously, you want to pay some attention to the color. Color is important. But now down here on this tip, I'm going to get some lighter color, some light green. And I'm going to kind of start working that in here at the end. A little bit right there off the edge. A little bit off this edge. And that way I can pull that down, that little tip right there. And that's fine, and it'll make sense. And later on, I'll, I can hit that a little harder if I want. And I'll start to blend that in. And there we go. So now we've got most of the background in. I'm not really worried about too much. Let's see, that's going to be some green. So let's come over here and let's pop some other little brighter greens, maybe right along this edge here where I'm going to have kind of nothing right there. And right there, maybe give it a tap here and there just to... Just to indicate maybe something else going on besides just black. <laughs> and there we go. And now that's most of my cool colors. I think I want to come in now again with a little bit more of that. Uh, I'm just going to take whatever I've got mixed on here. And I'm going to grab some white and some ochre and mix it in there. And I've got, once again, kind of a gray color. And I'm going to come back down in here. And I want to hit some more area here that I think is a little weak. Come in here and fill in some of these areas that look a little, little weak, a little, little unfinished. Just a couple of spots. There we go. Now I'm going to kind of blend them in again. And once again, let me get a paper towel. Let's clean this bugger off really, really good. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching so far. We're about, oh gosh, we're a little over halfway, I think, here. So um, now we're going to start, we're, we're going to work in a couple of big colors in the background here in just a minute. And then we'll be done with all the background elements. Then I'll be able to come in here and hit all this. And that's when things are really going to take off. But uh, meanwhile, let me just quickly oil up my hands again. And kind of clean them off. They're nice and shiny. And I'm going to get a drink of water. And I'm going to come over and look and see if anybody else is watching. Oh, hey, Craiger. All right, right on. Todd, hey, what's going on? Bob, Steve, Mark Bunker. How you doing, buddy? All right, hope you guys are still watching. I'm working away. I'm going to be done probably here in about, oh, what time is it now? 4.47? Yeah, I'm not going to be done in 15 minutes, but I'm going to be done in about 20, 25. So the rest of it's going to go pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to cut in this area, which, well, actually, I'm going to cut in this leaf since we're working those cool colors still. And that, once again, that is a lot of this cool color, but there's some... There's some actual good turquoise in there this time. So I'm going to actually work some of this lighter turquoise. i got a little lighter turquoise in this area. And I'm going to be mindful that there is a leaf. There is a leaf. Let's see. There's a leaf coming up this way. And there's a leaf right here. So I'm going to come right around that leaf. Like that. And try to pull it all in the direction that it's flowing. Like that. That's it. And I got a little mix of colors on there. You can see other colors peeling off, which I love it when it does that. So I don't mind mixing colors right on the brush. Some people might not want to do that, and I can understand why. It's kind of a, a dangerous thing to do, I guess. But for me, danger is my middle. No, it's not. Uh, but, I, uh, but I don't mind living a little bit on the edge when it comes to painting as far as doing this kind of thing. Because I've done it enough to where I feel pretty confident in what I'm doing. Now down here, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to say it's a little warmer, so I'm actually going to mix some brown into this green and make it just a little bit darker and make it a little bit more of a, yeah, so there's a little shadow bit, bit under here. So it's a little warmer, 
a little darker. I don't want to do every last bit the same color, like I said. I'll sweep that across a little bit and then feather it all in. Keeping in mind, once again, the leaf that's in back. And then I'm going to go like this and I'm going to kind of feather that up nice and smooth. And that's a big, nice, smooth leaf. It's very smooth. So I want to smooth that up real nice as I prepare to get a big clump of white. And I'm just going to put it on the one side of the brush. One side, the little bit of it spills over to that side, but that's all right. And then I'm going to come right here right first. And I'm going to, well, the highlight's right from there. So I'm going to pull it this way and I'm going to pull it that way. And there we go. And there's a little, and then there's some ribs. And I'm going to go right where they're already kind of indicated. And I come in there and some of them are going to be fatter. And don't kill all the underpainting underneath. And grab some more of that white. It's just pure white. And once again, now down here is where some light's really hitting it. So let me get a lot of white on there. I mean, a big clump, a pretty good clump there. And let me get in here. There we go. And get that rib right there. Get that rib. Get this rib. And now since it's a lot of white in there, I'm going to blend that in so it lightens this whole bottom of the leaf here. And there you go. And then I'm going to pull that in. And there you go. So that big leaf is right there. Let's give them a couple of warmer spots right here. There's a good warm rib right here and in here. And let's see. Let's get a good, let's get a good kind of other green here and try to throw that in. That's kind of a more of an av dark avocado. It's a dark sap green, basically. And I haven't used a lot of that sap green yet, but I'm going to use some of it right there. There we go. Just to kind of indicate something happening down there at leaf. All right. And then once again, I like that color, that deep sap green. So there's a leaf that's in back of here, that's in back, there's a leaf here, there's a blade here, but where this blade, let's see, this blade kind of cuts right through there. So right in here, let me get some of that sap green, and let me tap a little white into that sap green so I can separate this off a little bit better. There we are. I'm going to pull that down, pull that down, and this, this is actually coming around in front of this other leaf right here. Kind of like that, and then fading down, fading down. Uh, trying not to kill that highlight in the middle. It's not easy. It's not easy. But that's coming. And there's going to be a leaf kind of poking up in front of that, so it's going to look a little bit better than that when I get when I get it there. All right. Now let's see. Ah, uh, I like this uh, sap green. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of a lighter that lighter green, which is kind of a Kind of a little bit of a sap green mixed with a, a cad yellow light. And then I'm going to come in, actually, let me cool that down a little bit. I'm going to kind of go in my middle. And then there's a leaf back here, this one right here, that's got a kind of a nice color right in here. It's got this beautiful color right here. And it is in back of these. So I'm going to try to indicate that that's in back there a little bit, like that. And it's kind of coming around like that that, that, a little bit. And then underneath here now, it's really more brown. It's got some green in it, but it's got a lot of brown, a lighter brownish color right on this part of the leaf. So I'm going to go here with some brown and tuck it down a little bit and get the top of that leaf. And once again, I'm going to try to indicate where the stems are. In this case, I'm just going to go right over the top. I know they're kind of there, but I'm just going to kind of go right over there so it blends in a little bit. There we go. Let that blend in. And then this leaf is coming in down here. And then let me get some good dark brown. I'm coming to get the bottom of this leaf here a little bit indicated right there. There we go. Now I'm going to tuck some other green back in. I don't care which greens. Just give me a some kind of green. I want a little bit of, eh, let's get a little lighter. Throw a little bit of this in there. And right in here, we'll do it right along that edge. And we'll pull it up this way and on in. In, 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 in. There we go. Now I'm going to go with a darker green, again, a little cooler, and I'm going to come in and I'm going to fill in this, this blank right here. That's going to come this way, and remember that stuff's going to come in front. So now we've got another leaf back here, and I've managed not to totally kill where the stems are going to go. I'll kind of try to keep it a little softer, not too, not too detailed. Soften it up, soften all those edges, come in, tap it around, blend it in. And then once you've blended it in, leave it alone. 
Get out of there. Because you don't want to. You don't want to beat the hell out of it. You really don't. But I can still come to ed edges that I see. Oh, there's a little unfinished something there. Just come in and clean it up. Just grab a little something and come around. Just grab a little paint, whatever you got on your brush, and come around and just clean up some of those areas. Because it's really not going to matter if the colors. It's all in the back there. Who knows what's going on back there? Who knows? Any number of things going on in the background there. All right. Now, I think we've got, let's see, that is principally, let's see, let me look, look there. Okay, we've got a red bit of leaf here. And what I'm going to do is, I don't like the way that's shaped right there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come bring this around here. And I'm going to bring that leaf there. And then I'm going to come with some, looks like a green. Let's come right up on the top here, and I'm just going to pull that down like there's a leaf right there. And that's it. Just to kind of... Let me kind of pull it up over the top a little bit more so the tangents aren't running quite so hard. There we go. Now let's pull that down. Now let me put a stripe through it. Woo! Like that. Just a little something. I don't mind. Now, we're going to go to this area. This is going to be a lot of warmer colors. So I'm going to come over here with some yellow, some tans, and kind of come in here. And I'm just going to kind of really just work this in quick. I'm not really worried about how much brown, how much green, whatever. I may even toss a little bit of red in there just to get some indication of something going on. And there we go. We'll toss in a little bit of that. And toss a little lighter color up here at the tip. It's a little white. Now, clean that off. And let me get some more brown in here down the bottom. And then I'm just going to let that fly right there. And I'm just going to blend it all in right here. I'm just going to blend that in. Just gonna blend it in with what, what I've got on the brush. And that's it. And I'm not gonna go any more detailed. Once again, in the background, so I'm not really as concerned about it. Just needs to be back there. That's all. And there it is. And just cut it in that quick. Because once again, it's not where we're looking. It's not really what we want. It's not what I'm looking for. It's not the, I'm looking at this area. So this is all just, you know, backdrop. So, if, you know, but you want it to be good backdrop. You know, you do. And I see some fudgy kind of mucky areas right there. So I'm going to kind of blend those over so they don't look as mucky. They look a little more like they're going through even there. Because I know that as I go, I'm going to cut those colors in over the top. And those are darker colors, so I think they'll, it'll fly all right. Um, let's see what we got here. Now, in the back down here, let's see, that's kind of that brown. Let's see one of the dark browns with the little red that we've got going down here. It's a dark and reddish brown. I think there's a, there's like a leaf-shaped kind of, uh, let's see, it'd be right back in here. It's kind of coming off here, and I'm just going to take, even though there's color there already, I'm just going to work it down like that and let it be like that. And that's fine. It just gives me another tone back there. I'm going to take some of that alizarin crimson. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm actually going to hit up on this leaf right there again and kind of get on some dark area right there. Just to make them pop out a little bit now. Feather that in a little bit. There we go. That's fine. And uh, once again, maybe back in here. Well, actually, we've got a nice dark brownish reddish color that is starting down here. And I'm going to be very careful, and I'm going to put some striations right here. Just very simple. Not too many. Don't go crazy with it. To make sure they're there. I'm going to clean off that brush because we've got kind of a more of a this wine color. It's a little bit more of a wine color. It's going to start working its way in to all this. So I'm going to start picking up some of that color. It's kind of between a wine and a, like a red brick color. And uh, I'm going to try to indicate some of that back here. There it is. And see it kind of goes from a, a wine to a kind of reddish orange. It's almost an orange color but really kind of it's more of a Brick red, especially once you blend in this other color. I've got basically a, uh, a mix of a couple different kinds of reds here. And uh, there's a little bit of uh, Indian red, which is pre the predominant tone here. And then I've got some alizarin crimson mixed in with that to kind of give it a little bit of a not pure adobe color kind of thing. And that guy's coming right here, and he's kind of ending back there. And then that this 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 is going to come over the front, but I kind of want to make sure that that's sitting there, and that leaves a little further back. 
So once again, now once I get to the end here, I'm just going to blend it right on and I'm not going to worry about too much that's in front of it or back of it. Right there. Let's be very careful. Now I'm going to pull it back this way to kind of you know, pull it forward this way. Now it's going right there. And there, that leaf's in the back. Now we've got that nice leaf. Now we're going to start working our way forwards. Now, the way I'm going now is I'm going to be starting to put in some, so basically it's a very it's a dark grayish purple with a little bit of green. I know that sounds kind of weird, but that's kind of the color that I came up with. The initial color is going to be, let me get a, I'm going to clean this brush up pretty good. I'll tell you what, I'm going to switch over to another brush. I'll beat, beat that one to death. So I'm going to switch over to another brush. I'm going to take a, another flat here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start working in these kind of a darker, once again, it's a darker tone. And it's like a dark purple. And basically, I'm going to find the leaves of where it is. And there's one right, basically, it's cutting right across. Let me look at it. It's right here. And it's cutting like that. And it's not all purple all the way down, but there's some of it. And there's a little bit of some down here, back in this one. Not so much over there. I'm going to work my way across. There's some of that color coming down through the middle of this. It kind of almost splits like that. Beautiful. And it dabbles a little bit around. This one, a little less perfect. And so it kind of dabbles around here. But once again, it's going to cut right hard. Cut these real hard in front of that. There we go. That's all right, and I can pick up the other color later. Okay, so that's those purples. And right around this edge there. So that way I've got a little indicator that there's a little red edge right there. I kind of drew it in there. There we go. And I didn't put every little bit of purple in there. Okay, this one does not have that, but there is a little indication of some of it in there. So I'm just going to lightly feather some of it in there right in here. So when I put the other color, it'll be there and blend in. So let me do that. That's kind of just coming across. It's kind of coming right in here. I'm just trying to be real careful about how I feather it in. Not too dark. It's kind of a shadow, basically. I'm just going to kind of feather it in right there. There's a little bit of that color in there. Uh, in here, there's also a little bit of this color working in here. It's a little stronger down in here. So when I mix in that other red, that more brick red, that's going to show a little bit. Uh, I want some striations coming through. This is kind of sweeping up this way a little bit. So I want that. This guy has got a pretty good, almost, almost the purple right there. There we go. Now we've got some good, strong purples. So there's that one back there. This leaf cuts over, and then this comes back. So that's that same leaf that's in back over there. It's coming right there. It's like that. And it's coming way down. That's it, like that. Because it's almost square. Oh, oh that and then we've got another one coming back here that is also almost square and I'm gonna pull it that way I'll pull it like that there we go now down in here this one's a beauty here I gotta watch this curve right here but this guy here comes way over here it has a, it's a big leaf but it comes way up in there and then it kind of comes in here with a shape and we'll pull that pink shape in there in a, in a bit. And then we've got a kind of another bit. Comes in real strong right here. And that shape's right there. And then we can make this tip right there. Cut it right there. There we go. And then maybe get some of that down here. Just kind of indicating. All right. Let's see. There's a big, strong purple right down in here. So I'm going to this whole thing that's already dark. And see how doing that underpainting really makes this quick. I don't have to... Go and paint the living snot out of it. It's already got enough value there to kind of give me a quick route to getting this done. Now up here we've got some kind of little harlequin kind of striations and stuff in this one a little bit more. So that's going a little, it's dragging a little bit there. So let me just loosen that paint up with a little bit of a, there we go, a little bit of thinner then it won't drag so much. There we go, and then this whole edge here is coming down a little bit like that. It's got some striations coming up on along and kind of come up in there. This is kind of coming that way. I like that a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to leave a little bit here where it's just a little bit of that lighter color coming through there. All right, now I've got a nice big dark area right here. And I got to watch it because it lights up 
right in the middle there. So I want to just bring it to maybe right about here and then feather it off because I want, don't want to kill that light in there. Now, uh, it is still the same color though, so I'm going to kind of bring it over in here and just lightly pull that color in. And it's going to come right to an edge right there. And then there's another beautiful edge that kind of comes around, round like this here. And even though that sort of let's kill that dark thing underneath there, it kind of comes around like that. This guy comes almost down like a point right there, and that's fine. Now let's see here. What else we got here? We got a. Uh, 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 let's see. We've got a little bit of dark here. There's a big dark purple one that coming down here, right? And once again, I'm kind of just letting the colors underneath it show through. All right. Now there's a good strong one. Strong leaf, there's a big one coming right there, right there, right there, but it's kind of in the it's kind of in the background, so I'm not worried about it too much. And there's, there we go. So I'll just leave it dark like that. And I got the dark there. This leaf here. Let's see if here's going to be another, another one of these clover leaves. So it's going to come this way, and I'm going to kind of indicate an edge there, and indicate an edge here. And I'm going to throw some darks down in there a little bit and try to get that one to edge off. And then here also, I'm going to throw in like a dark color across. Bring this one in here tighter a bit, like that. And then we're going to go like that, pull that stem down in there. There we go. All right, now we've got some good indicators of where things are going. Let's see here over in this edge here, we've got a little piece that comes up again. And we're Back around once I need to thin my pan again a little bit there. And we're going to take it from this edge. And, and on this one, we got a couple little hard edges in here. That's good. Down here, it's a pretty good hard edge right here. Right there, right there, right there, there, there. There we go. Okay. Now that's looking pretty good there. Now we're going to start seeing some more pop here. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start hitting some of these magenta colors, which I want to use switch again to a brush that's not beat up so I don't have to, uh, to kill the uh, color that exists there. Let me get a brush that's reasonably clean. Here we go. This one looks pretty good. And I'm going to grab some of this, this bright, bright magenta color. And there's a real bright shot of it right here. Take some more paint right there, and then I'm going to come down the middle on the stem right there. And let's see where else we got some of that magenta. We got some of it coming right up along this part right here and coming up right in there. And I'm trying to do this in one stroke if I can. I've got kind of a medium viscosity on this right now. I'm not going super hard on the viscosity. Over here, this is going to be some indications of stuff coming up here. And then maybe a little bit towards the tip. There we go. This is foreshortened out to the tip, so I'm going to kind of bring this, and that tip is going to be right there. A nice bright tip. I'm going to get a, a bright tip there. There we go. And we got a little bit of something coming over here into this dark. And then this is kind of feathering up this way a little bit. We got a little rim of something here. Oops. Not there. It's in back, but that's okay. I'll fix that. And those are looking pretty good, those magentas. Let's come in. It's a darker magenta that's kind of back in, in the middle of this one here. So let's go right here. And I'm going to pull up some striations from underneath. That and that's working nice. It's got a good color to it. That works for me. I can always pull that. I can always pull the stem right back through. There we go. And then we're gonna pull some colors on it, coming through this way like that a little bit. There we go. That looks a little better. And uh, let me hit it a little bit there. We got some more coming up in those areas that were hit too hard over here. Once again, I don't want to take the paint too far before I move on to 
I'm gonna put a little bit of a darker magenta in there. Right in here, it's a little darker. We've got some of this darker magenta here. We got some of that dark each time, a little bit of mix of light and dark. There you go. Nice. A little bit around that edge. Now let's see if we can bring this back and back. I'm gonna grab some of this right here. I just want to indicate that that's back there a little bit. And then we've got a little bit of stuff happening on this maybe here, but I'm not going to go too detailed once again like that. Just a little something to indicate that there's another one over there. All right, and we've got most of those good purples and magentas in now. But it looks pretty good. Now, let's grab the another bit of paper towel. And we're going to come in and we're going to hit those big uh, areas. Let me grab a new brush again. And now I'll go back with this brush again. I'll go back with the dirty brush. This one. And now I'm going to go with these big colors here. So we've got more of a darker red. And that's kind of coming from this end right here. That darker red. And I'm going to get a sweep that red right there. Okay. And that darker red also coming up on this top here. And then some of it down in here. Bring this way down. It randomly it doesn't have to be perfect like that. Let's grab some of this dark red here. And then this area here where it's really pretty dark over in here. Take that. Oh, I need, definitely need some uh, something on my brush. Just just not enough oomph there. Okay, let's come in here. There we go. And let's take that. I put some thinner on to kind of move that paint around a little bit better. There we go. And blend that big leaf right on in. There she is. Get those dark colors up here. Blend it on in a little bit. Now, again, let's go here. Get a little bit of this magenta even over here. Let's pull some of that down. Pull some of this down. And then this guy here is coming through back over here. Nice. Darker areas right there. Some darks here. There's a striation of dark coming up here. Let's get them back down from this area. And in here, let's kind of blend that in. There we go. I know it looks kind of rough right there, but that's all right. We're going to go on the bottom side of this one. There we go. And, uh, actually, I want to kill that one right to there. All right, now, and let's come on in again. Let's find some of those other same colors. I'm gonna go right here, get that down here, and then there's gonna be a little piece off the edge here. All right, and I'm gonna go back to some real good darks. It's more thinner, and I'm gonna do a slightly darker red down in here, just to kind of give me a Push all that back a little bit. There we are. Nice. Okay. And then some of that darker red is going to come in here. Some stripes. A little bit here. And there. And then maybe some right up in the, under here. And then maybe a little bit over the lip. There's a lip right there. Maybe come over like that. All right. That's pretty good on most of that. The tip of this. See the back part of that is actually more this color. Let's take that all here like that bring that in all right we're looking pretty good there looking pretty good now I'm just got to come in now and we're gonna hit some uh, we're gonna hit some of uh, these this bright brighter kind of a brick red and this time again I'm gonna go back with the brush that's holding brighter color and I come over here mix in some of that a little bit of this white here. I'm going to lighten it up just a hair. There we go. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to get a nice strong color right there. Right there. Kind of that brick color. And I'm just going to blend it on in. Now I choose my colors by the picture itself. I tend to let the picture do the color choosing for me because there's something about it I like already. 
So um, that's kind of where I go with these kinds of things. I just let the let the uh, image kind of take me there. Now, once again, I don't want to beat in what I've beat up what I've already stroked into. I just want to kind of stroke it through as simply as I can, right there, and just leave it like that. Don't beat it up. Don't beat it up. And come in here. I still got some paint left on there. I can sweep off there, and don't beat it up. Pull that in over here. Let's get a little bit more white right there just to kind of get a little light on that stem right there. There we go. Alright. Looking pretty good. Same color up here. Right down where I was right here. Mix it in. And this is all really one leaf, so this is all really just blending in. So let me just blend that in. I'll take that leaf and put it right there. All right, very good. Now let's go over here, same thing, over here. Get some of that same color, mix it in here. And bring it in nice, right to there, right to the edge of the leaf. Or the, actually the petal, I should say. And uh, there we go. Right up to the tip. There we are. Going across, draw that color all the way over here. I'm gonna give a little edge to that right there, just because, and uh, let's kind of give an edge down here a little bit. Smooth it down, feather that in a little bit. Okay, we got that beautiful color here. So let me kind of just indicate that there's still some color right there. So that edge comes out a little bit, pops out a little bit off of that. There we go. And then we can also pop that edge right here even if there's no color like that in there I'm throwing it in there just to make that pop off a little bit there we go now let's get some of that same color that's the lighter color we're gonna kind of hit it right here and I'm up in there and I'm gonna feather it in over here so it's not so incredibly strong and I'm gonna get actually this darker more of a crimson and work that in in here to the edge. There you go. I'm going to get that same color. I'm going to work some of that over in here a little bit. There you go. Some of that dark color here. I kind of beat that up a little bit, but not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's see. Indicate some light spilling over the leaf here. So let's get some of this, more of this magenta. Let's spill it over this edge here. There we go. Let me get some of this lighter pink, maybe. And I can also go in and do that again later. And now let's get a go back to this kind of brick color. In this case, I really, really. This right here is really, really, really lit a lot more. Let's throw some more yellow in it just to kind of light it up a little bit here underneath. There we go. That's good. Now I'll come back with a regular brick color. And just kind of come in there and just do that. Come almost all the way to the edge there. And just make sure you're bringing it all down. You don't have to go to any great lengths. I'm just trying to give some indicators once again. Take another color, maybe grab a little white, just to give it a little shape. That didn't do much, because a lot of paint on the brush right now. That's all right. That is exactly what we want. Okay. Very nice. Can continue on. We get some thinner on the brush. Come on over here and hit this guy real quick.
Looking good, looking good. And down in here, getting this guy. Let me get some dark color, just shoot it right up the middle here. Just because I don't want it all the same. There we go, let's square him off a little bit, maybe an indicator, another shape back here. Let's get a dark shot right here, and just kind of give it another square shape just back here, just to fill in this area. And maybe it'll look like a, another leaf coming up there. There we go, now take some of that dark, work it right there. Let's just pull all that together. All right. All right. We got most of that up. Oh, I see an area of purple that I missed. That's all right. Let's come in here. Let's hit some of it. Right there. Let's get some of that magenta. Stick it in there. Big sweep of that magenta. I'm almost out of paint there, so let's just do it. Let's just come in here and randomly, just kind of come in and just do what we got to do. That's it. What you do? Take some thinner. Get that magenta again. Here we go. Let's do that. Beautiful. That works. Make quick work of it. Don't sit here all day. There we go. So I kind of got that out of the way. There we go. Now it's looking pretty good. Now we're going to go in and we're going to hit these green, bright green stems. And we're almost done here. Let's see how far we are into the paint today. We are at an hour and 15, hour and 15 since I started painting, it looks like. All right, we need to get some more of this color right in here. It's purple. Let me get some more of this magenta right in here. And there we go. And just kind of fill in that color right there that was missing. There we go. All right. All right, now we're going to go to that lime green, that lime green color. All right. So let me get a brush that's cleaned up a little bit. Let's clean this one up. It's had some other color on it, but that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and just work out the color as best I can out of it. And I've already got some nice light green mixed in. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get some of the darker greens we're going to lay the green over the top of it. So there's a little bit of a dark green here. And we're just going to toss those in at the bottoms of these stems here. These little, uh, and then here, like that, a little bit. And then I'll toss in some of the darker green, like down in here where it does some little stuff. And then we can toss that in. And then down here we can go ahead and get some good dark greens here. Kind of do that thing. Go. And once again, let's get some of the dark greens. We're going to work on a little bottom of the stem right there, a little bottom there. There's going to be a little bottom right here. I mean, a bottom right there. Let's get a couple of green leaves right back here. It's fine. Let's smear that out a little bit. There we go. Okay, we have a stem up here. We do. We have a bottom of one right here. Right here, right here. There we go. Okay, so we hit the bottom of all the stems. Now I'm going to clean that brush again. And this time I'm going to want pretty thin paint because I want it to go over the top pretty well. So let me see what I can do. This is this is a tricky one now. This is tricky. So this is where this is where you have to have the viscosity right. It's got to be pretty doggone thin. You got to have make sure you got a good color that you like. And I'm going to go with some of the brighter areas. I'm going to stick it right here. Just like that. We got these tops first. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Right here a little bit on each one of them. And there we go. And that's tops on most. That's the that part on most of them. Now that looked pretty good. And that was a good test run to see how the stems are going to look. Okay, so here's here we go. Okay, so I'm going to pull the stem right there. A little thick. Lighten that brush stroke up a little bit. There we go. Over here. Pull this one down. There. I'm going to let this stuff start peeling the paint off. I don't mind that as it goes down, you see? And uh, that's fine. But like I said, I wanted to be more indication of something cool happening down here. So, um,
something interesting happening rather than just a bunch of nothing going on. So over here we're gonna now I'm gonna pull some other stems on through just by pulling just by, as the paint comes off I'm just pulling other little shapes through that's all I'm doing. It's coming in here pulling the occasional stem there you go. And see that looks real nice over there. I like it. So now I'm gonna go back to some nice thin paint here and I'm gonna grab these ones now. Right there. Right there. This is all gonna kind of blend in here. Yeah. So that's pretty good there. Now let's go with uh I'm going to go with, I've mixed in a very, very nice light pink, but I want to do the little darker colors of it, so I'm going to start with the darker tone of it. It's a little darker than what it's going to be. And once again, just like I did the others, I'm going to find spots, like this is going to come right, let me get this fairly thin, I want it fairly thin so I can put it on pretty good. There we go. That's pretty good. I'm going to peel off some of it, I don't want to go too far. This one's going to peel like this a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and pull that around. It's okay. A little bit more of the pink going to come here, maybe a little bit. Like that, maybe right there. And like I said, I'm watching what I'm doing because I don't want to go too hard with any of it. This guy can kind of come this way a little bit, blend in. And uh, this top in the back. It's kind of nice. There, coming up the middle here a little bit more, and that's coming that way. All right, and then we've got a nice couple of pinks right in here. It's real pretty. Hey, pretty. Some soft pinks kind of coming through there. Little this, little that. color in there in a minute, but there's a couple of purples in some of this, so I'm going to throw a little touch of purple on some of it at some point. Oop, picked up a little colorful underneath it, that's alright. Like color there. Once again, I'm working this pretty dry right here right now. Because in a minute, I'm going to do something different. So now I'm going to take some of that purple. Actually, I need to get a nice pure purple out of here. I need a nice pure purple. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of white. Just to, to do so. There we go. Now let's get just... I see just a little bit of purple in here and there. Just a little bit here and there. There's a pretty good shot of it right through here and in through here. Now, I'm going to get a nice, clean brush, and I mean a clean one, I'm going to get the cleanest one I got. I'm going to get the cleanest one I got. Not that it's going to be perfectly clean, but it should be mostly clean. And now at the end here, I'm going to do kind of like glazing a little bit. So I'm going to come with just the thinner. I don't have any paint on the brush right now. And I'm just taking the thinner, and I'm just kind of working that soft color in where it just kind of is more like a watercolor, you see what I'm saying? I'm just working that in, taking that thinner, just working that color up, and just trying to work it like a watercolor. There's barely any, barely any color on it, if any. That's it. Just kind of blending it in with the thinner. That's it. Those just 
just softens everything up nice. Not killing anything too too badly. And of course at the end I'll come back in and make the the subtleties that are going to be missing from something like this that you're doing live. It's not the easiest thing to just knock out and boom, boom you know you're done. But uh, but you can it, it is doable as you can see you can do you can get pretty doggone close and that's the main thing is I can take this now after I'm done with this and I I don't really have that much to go back and do I've just got to clean it up basically just got to kind of go clean it up a little bit. And that's not going to be hard. That's not going to be difficult to do. I should be able to do it fairly easily. And, uh, you know, and if I've got an area too dark or too light, I'll fix that. I'm not terribly worried about it. Now, I've got some um, light, light pink that I mixed up with some white. So I can come into some of these areas, and I'm going to kind of come around. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the edge here with nice, thicker white right here. And now I can get that edge a little harder blend it on in. And once again, I'm going to grab some of that. It's a light pink rather than a pure white. I can just come in there. I can go like that. Now let's just pull all that through. Get all the blend in there nice. Beautiful. So, you know, it's, it's slowly working its way in. And as you can see, bit by bit, you get it. You get it a little bit here, you get a little bit there, and you finally at the end, you know, you kind of come in and you, you feel like you know what you're doing a little bit. There we go. And I'm running out of gas like I usually do after I've been painting, standing and painting this long, but um, I really want to thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate whoever is watching out there, and I hope you're getting something out of it. If not, nothing else, maybe a little entertainment out of it. That could be something, I guess. And um, I'm hoping that that's happening. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm hoping. I'm hoping that it's happening. And then we're going to just kind of come in and finish a little bit of this and that. And I can kind of finish all this stuff out. Like I said, I'm going to be doing some of this stuff, uh, going back and showing you some of the finish work on a couple of shows, just to give you an idea where you go after you're done with this phase. Um, obviously not a done painting, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy. It looks pretty good. This is what we started. This is the uh, image that I started with here, and uh, it doesn't look too far off. Obviously, I've got to go clean up some edges. I've got to do a little tightening on some of the, some of the edges in some of the areas here. But that's all pretty minor stuff. For the most part, we've got the painting worked out. At this point, now it's all just a matter of going back in, taking the time, and cleaning it up nice, just to make it really pretty, and have it all happen. But for the most part now, we've got that painting pretty well set for the start. I can finish this painting off and make it look really, really nice at the end. Uh, easy enough to do certain things like coming in, and, and maybe let's say here, grabbing a little bit of color, uh, let's see if I can lighten up an area here. I'm taking something and, and uh, grabbing a, another color, a little something stronger, and then come up and, you know, taking an area like right up here where it's, you know, could use a little light. That's a really poor example. That wasn't enough. There's a lot of paint on there on that brush. Let's try that again real quick before I go here. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to take some pure uh, cadmium yellow, and I'm just going to pull that right on into my brush because there's so much paint in there already. And I'm going to come right here and I'm going to hit that cad yellow and then I'm going to come like that. And then what I'm going to do there is just kind of make it so that area is just a little different color. And thereby looks a little bit more like it's lit right in that corner. But I could keep doing things like that endlessly with more and more color and more and more light. You know, just coming in and, and, and hitting that and, and, and popping that out a little bit more just to give it some indication of some shape and some light at the tip and then come in here and do that same thing here but you can go endlessly with that kind of stuff you can go and, and I and I won't go endlessly I like to try to do as much as I can as quick as I can because I think that's the best way to do it it seems to be the most effective um, and you know obviously save your time I mean I got a lot of paintings I want to paint so see I'm just gonna take that edge right there and just make him stand out a little bit more than he was. 
Same thing with this edge here. I can kind of pull that out a little bit. And just do things like that. And just kind of pull some edges out. But I can keep blending and doing all that stuff. Well, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate everything uh, that uh, that's going on in my world. Everybody's been nice to me. The people have been watching. And, and I can't thank you enough for giving me a little something to do and keep myself busy and not get too go too crazy with stuff. You know, I feel pretty good about most of the things that I'm doing here lately and uh, doing my little shows and whatnot. And the fact that I'm getting a little response means a lot to me. All right, everybody, let's take a look. See if I can go in here, take a little bit of a look at the piece. Maybe it shows up a little, little bit better. But basically, there was 45 minutes into the underpainting and about an, what do we got, about an hour and a half. So we got about two hours and 15 minutes into this piece. Um, and it is a 30 by 40, which is a fairly sizable piece. Um, you can't really see the subtleties of the colors until I come up close here to where you can see the pinks and the, the things that are going on because you can't really see that. As I pull back, it wants to lighten up, I think. Let's see if that helps any. But in any case, um, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you guys again real soon. It'll be on Tuesday. I'm doing another underpainting, and then Friday I'll do, a, um, I'll do the finished painting like we're doing here. I do have a special treat for you, though. Tomorrow at 11 a.m., I'm finishing up the last strokes on a painting I've been working on for almost eight years. It's a Vincent Price, one of my favorite actors of all time, and I've done a tribute to him. So I'm going to do a little tribute to Vincent tomorrow at 11 a.m. So anybody wants to join me, not so much painting and stuff, but just talking about the painting. As I do a, a few little background strokes, I just got to fill in some colors in the background. So, But I'll... Uh, I'll be happy to share that with you, fellow Vincent fans. All right, guys, have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow at 11, and then maybe again on Monday at 4, and Fridays at 4. Bye-bye now.